The old timers in the industry will remember a time when hearing aid batteries were basically mercury batteries. And subsequently, Zinc Air, which is today's technology, came onto the market in the late 80s. Uh, but at that time, there was still a fairly uh, significant amount of mercury in the batteries. And uh, really, the challenge has been to find a way to remove that from the chemistry. And early part of this century, the uh, several states, particularly in the northeast part of the United States, got together and decided that they would uh, pass legislation, almost to force the industry's hand uh, to come up with a way to remove mercury from hearing aid batteries, as well as other what they call button cells. And uh, uh, the industry players, particularly the major players like Energizer, Duracell, and of course Rayovac, um, you know, reacted by saying, well, you know, there's, there's not a way on the market currently to do that. It will take some time to develop it. Um, so really a, a negotiation took place um, with these states uh, by a trade organization called NEMA. And uh, the date of July 1st, 2011 was selected as a date where um, mercury-free products would be available on the marketplace. And really in advance of that date now, um, all companies have come forward with a product, and, uh, and that's the product that you see on the marketplace today. And which states were those? Those states are Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Maine. Uh, another state, Louisiana, is on board for 2012. And then very recently, Canada um, has announced plans to pass legislation uh, which would um, eliminate mercury from batteries in, in 2012 as well. Now, if I'm in a state that's not one of those states, can I still use zinc air batteries? You can, uh, but you know, legislation is only one part of the story. You know, we all know that mercury is not good for the environment and really shouldn't be in products um, where it doesn't need to be. So now that there are environmentally friendly alternatives available, we really think everybody's going to, going to want to do the right thing and, and move to mercury-free products. Are there any differences between mercury-free batteries from Rayovac and zinc air batteries? Uh, well, of course, the primary difference is, uh, is the elimination of mercury. Our engineers spent a number of years, uh, somewhere in the range of five to seven years, um, coming up with an alternative. Mercury plays a very important role in, uh, or played a very important role, I should say, in hearing aid batteries in that as a battery discharges, it creates a hydrogen gas and uh, mercury um, uh, basically acted as a neutralizer uh, to prevent that gassing from occurring. And we've developed an organic uh, cocktail, we call it, that takes the place of, of mercury. Very difficult to do, um, but as I said, we were successful in doing that, and now we've been able to eliminate mercury. Um, voltage is also um, something that has been improved with the launch of the new Rayovac mercury-free product. Something that's very important, particularly in today's uh, high demand hearing aids. And when you say the new mercury-free product, mm -hmm. um, this is something that just came out? Yeah, we actually launched uh, mercury-free in early 2009 and uh, subsequently have continued to uh, make improvements, something we do continually with all of our products. And uh, in late 2010, we launched a second-generation product, uh, which frankly is the best battery we've ever made. Excellent. What are some of the questions that audiologists um, and professionals have about mercury-free batteries? What kind of questions do you guys hear? Well, you know, probably the biggest one, mercury-free uh, hearing aid batteries got kind of a bad reputation um, right out of the gate. Uh, there were some issues with voltage. There were some issues with uh, capacity, in other words, life, how long they last. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased to say today with, with the introduction of our second-generation product, um, as I mentioned, it's actually higher voltage than the uh, mercury-bearing product that was on the market previously, and it lasts just as long. You still have to be careful. There are other products on the market that do not last as long as, as standard hearing aid batteries, um, but the product that Rayovac has on the market today is, is excellent. Excellent. And is it available in all battery sizes, the mercury-free? It is available in all battery sizes. Of course, those of us in the industry know size 10, 13, 312, and 675. And very soon, we're going to be launching a cochlear battery um, slated for June of this year, which will also be mercury-free, be the first of its kind. And that's, again, very important, particularly in states where legislation has been passed 
Uh, but again, you want to do the right thing for the environment, and we think it'll be well received everywhere. And I would think if the legislation is passed in certain states, it may only be a matter of time anyway. Do other states follow along? I think so. Um, that's one school of thought. But the other school of thought is now that uh, all the leading manufacturers have launched mercury-free versions that uh, these other states don't need to go ahead and pass legislation because the products will be well received and extended across those states anyway. So it really remains to be seen.